Yo, what do you do people? It's your boy, Tamer from Top of Zeke, back again with another informational video. And today I'm going to be talking about how to lose belly fat. So I got a question from Abdul asking me, how do you lose belly fat? And I thought to myself, you know what? I realized that a lot of people struggle with this. So I decided to make a whole video answering your question, Abdul. And hopefully you guys can find some benefit out of this too. Now, the main key to losing belly fat and to having a flat stomach is your body composition, which is pretty much just your ratio of muscle to fat, also known as your body fat percentage. Now, the lower your body fat percentage, the flatter your stomach and the more defined your stomach muscles would be. So let me show you an example. You see this picture right here? This shows body fat percentage of men at the top and the body fat percentage of women below. If you can see, men with lower body fat percentage have more defined ab muscles and flatter stomachs. So the same thing with the women. And from my personal experience, the most lean and aesthetic body fat percentage for men is about eight to 10%. And for women is from 17 to 20%. So if you're trying to maximize your aesthetics, you definitely want to be within those ranges. But even though a low body fat percentage is good, you don't want to go too low. For example, those guys and gals that you see on the cover of bodybuilding magazines that look shredded and smiling, the truth is, those guys are miserable as fuck. They are hating life at that very moment. They only got shredded for that photo shoot, but look at them, like two weeks later, they're gonna gain some more fat. Staying that low is not healthy and also is not easy to maintain. It's very hard to maintain that level of body fat because you just feel like crap. Believe me, I know for myself, I've been as low as 6% body fat, but when I was hanging out around there, I was like, oh, I don't care how good I look, man. I feel like poop. I can't even get anything done in the day because I have low energy, no motivation, and I just feel sick all the time. But once I up my body fat percentage to around eight to 10, voila, your boy started feeling good again. And also started looking good for the ladies. For the ladies, for the guys being around 8 to 10 percent is the most optimal body fat percentage for your aesthetics and your looks so now that we know you need to lower your body fat percentage to get a flat stomach how do you do this well there are two main things that you need to be able to lose body fat one is you need to be in a caloric deficit i mean i talk about this in all my videos it is gospel so once you create a caloric deficit another key is you need to be strength training this is because you need to give your body a reason to hold on to the muscle that you have remember having a flat stomach and abs is a function of your body fat percentage so if you are in a calorie deficit and you're not currently lifting any weights what is going to happen is you're going to lose both fat and muscle and it's going to take you longer actually to get down to your required body fat percentage and if you're currently doing a strength training program there is one common mistake that a lot of natural lifters make when they try to go on a diet and that is for some reason when people get on a cut they think oh that means i need to up my training volume i need to do more reps i need to do more cardio but the truth about this is if your reps are too high this is not a good enough stimulus for your body to hold onto your muscle your body thinks yo man i'm just lifting light weights man i don't really need these muscles let me just get rid of them so if you are trying to lose weight you want to focus on your strength you want to maintain your warrant max as much as you can you don't want your strength to go down too much while you're on a diet because if it does you're guaranteed to lose some muscle mass. So a good way to structure your training is to do some compound heavy lifts in the beginning of your training. And then as the, the training session goes on, you can now do some more traditional bodybuilding pump stuff. At least that way you get the tension stimulus to hold onto your muscle and you get the pump stuff that you probably enjoy. Another reason why you don't want to do too much volume while you're in a diet is because think about it. When you're in a calorie deficit, your body's recovery abilities are a lot lower. So if you increase your volume, your body's gonna have a harder time to recover during this period, which is also gonna lead to overtraining and muscle loss. So you wanna make sure that you manage your volume while you're in a calorie deficit. There's a good rule of thumb. You can reduce your volume by a third and actually still maintain your strength. So contrary to popular advice, when you're on a diet, you actually want to reduce your training volume to be able to maintain that muscle mass. All right, guys, that is the video. That is how you lose belly fat. Now, if you guys have any other questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll probably make a full length video about them. And guys, you know what to do. If you like this content, give it a whoop, whoo, thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And to all my fellas out there, remember who we do it for, the ladies. Peace.